I love, whether it's the TV shows like Monk or whether it's the novels like the Sherlock Holmes, the detective is the protagonist. But I guess in the individual scenes, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Looking at this of who is the one that makes the decision to turn the value. I'd like to jump in there just to address a novel written in the first person by a detective or a crime solver can have individual scenes where the protagonist is someone other than the first person narrator. Why would you want to do that? Well, what it does is it enables the audience, the single audience member to experience the world outside of the frame of the first person narrator. So what it enables them to do is to see a much larger landscape to understand the context from which these events are occurring than just one single point of view. Because we all know a single point of view is very limiting in your ability to get the full picture. So whenever someone says something to us, we always sort of do that thing where we take it with a grain of salt because we're not fully sure that we understand the full picture. Like your friend goes out on a date with someone and you go, hey, how did it go on the date? And they say, oh, terrible. They thought I was terrible and they didn't want anything more to do with me. Do we go, that doesn't seem quite right because you're kind of an interesting person. And then if we talk to the other person on the date, he or she might say, hey, I thought they were really cool. It's just that they really love show tunes and I'm not into them. And I, I could just see that would never work out for us, right? So then you would get a fuller picture because you would get both points of view. And that's how you do it in a novel is by manipulating the protagonist. 